Okay, so I think um, our, my mute sister. Yes. Yeah. Um, it's it's the quiet chicken, the one everybody likes. <laughs> <laughs> I really glad Sean Kelly's here because his laughing yeah. makes me feel good inside. Uh -huh. <laughs> like that. Um, so I think we're ready for space. Are we ready for space? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And it, that that means only two things. Pete. And Goldie. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. 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 Are you gonna do my chart? I'm an Aries. Um I was born in uh, North Hollywood, California at 8 16 a.m. That's all you need, right? April 7, 1969. You can do my chart, right? There's nothing more irritating to an astronomer than making astrology jokes. I'm sure I'm your first. Uh, you know, I'd like to get into all sorts of embarrassing personal things about you, but I gotta say, the first thing is Attaboy also has a magazine called High Fructose Magazine. Yeah. And it is unbelievably fantastic. I get this thing, what, four times a year, Attaboy? I can't see you. But anyway, I get it at least four times a year, and there's off, often extra things thrown in, little inserts, and I think once I got a, what, a viewfinder wheel with a bunch of his toys and stuff. And uh, if you're not, a, if you're, if you are any sort of collector, you need the magazine. But if you're not a sort of collector, you need the magazine. So look it up, High Fructose Magazine, spelled H-I Fructose, and it's really great. Yes. And uh, on the back page, Attaboy proposed to uh, Annie, who is his collaborator. Oh, the really? It's on the back page of the book. What? I, they're engaged. Really? That's really. You're that's not the only one getting married, Sean. That's really is. Uh, is marriage with cartoonists legal in California? I'm not sure. I sort of doubt that. Um, do you share any organs? Skin. Okay, alright. So we'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. Uh, um, uh, what happened 10 years ago today? Oh. In space. Not far in space, but in space. You're never gonna guess. Nobody ever guesses this. No, oh, okay. I guess the asteroid crash. 420. Wrong, wrong, uh, wrong, uh, wrong, wrong, wrong. Okay, my favorite spacecraft is the Cassini Huygens mission from uh, from NASA and the European Space Agency. And uh, Cassini, uh, the Cassini Huygens orbiter, when the Huygens orbiter or, or, or probe was still attached to it, today, 10 years ago, had the last Earth flyby gravity assist before it went on its way wow. toward oh Jupiter to get a gravity assist before it went on its way it's to crazy. Saturn where it braked and entered orbit and it has been in orbit for like five years. I don't believe so. it. Yeah, it's true. Ten years ago. And what happened when it went by and it was up there in near uh, Earth orbit and yeah. they, everyone from NASA blew kisses. They literally did that. They went there and went, ah, and they knew where it was and that they're weird. Nerds. But while we're talking about that orbiter, last week I I really really thrilled everyone with a, about twenty or thirty or fifty oh, yeah, images right. of one thing going on, a really important thing that happened in Saturn. Only happens every fifteen years, and I pointed out very clearly. And and I remember and uh, Chicken Joan and Chicken Jane there would tell me if they were not so drunk while they were here last week, but they both saw all those pictures. And what was I showing pictures of? The Saturn. Something. Right. That's right in the tip of their, their many tongues. Yeah, anyway, uh, I want to finish up because I, I said that, uh, yes, last Wednesday, the Saturn Equinox had happened 24 hours before that, and I got everyone up and I was going to show you pictures of the Saturn rings at Equinox. But of course, they hadn't been downloaded from the spacecraft yet. But now they're downloaded and I have them. They're only raw images, they're not been tweaked, they haven't been photoshopped to death, which they will be by the time you see them on CBS News. Anyway, let's go ahead to the next image, the first image. There it is. That's it. That's all you get. Again, how thick is the rings, are the rings of Saturn? The Saturn rings, the Saturn rings. Rings of Saturn. How many times have you heard that? Rings of Saturn. The rings of Saturn. Not thick enough. Not thick enough. For me. For you, right. Yeah. They're thick enough for me. Right, you have conflicts. Right? Yeah. The, the one or both of you. You see that that line that 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 shadow is cast from a continuous disk of ice that is about 150,000 miles. 
Anyway, that's all I have. Getting things in while we could. I've been told to rush through my show, so I've got to make sure. No, no, you told me you had a short show. Don't say that I rushed Oh, okay. Yeah, I just want you to know, this is my daughter. This is my wife, Sarah. Sorry, yeah. Very Sarah. cute. She has a monkey on her back. Don't we all? Yeah. We're going to do an intervention. But for now, I just want to get back to space. Anyway, about 20 years ago, it went to Uranus. And I'm not going to talk about that. Yeah. But it also, uh, about 20 <laughs> years ago, it went to Neptune. This is Neptune. These are images taken by Voyager 2. This is a time-lapse photograph taken by Voyager. And this is an eclipse of an un unknown moon. And the name of that moon is Despina. It's 148 kilometers in diameter. And it was discovered by an amateur astronomer looking at 20-year-old pictures. Now these are two moons of Jupiter, and uh, uh, and what we're going to see here is Io, the moon of Io. Whoa! Whoa! Yes. No way. Do, it again. Do it again. First, Io causes an eclipse whoa. of Ganymede, oh, and then it causes yay. a transit of Ganymede. So you have a two for one. Keep doing it. It's so cool. First, the eclipse of Ganymede, then the transit of Ganymede, from the perspective of a human They're being so who has a day job. It's a guy in the Philippines named Crisco, and I'm um, sure. Crisco. 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 Next image, because I want you people to understand. Next, go ahead and click on the next one there. Things are not, just drag that away. Oh, don't press it again. Press, don't, don't press, press it again. Don't press it again. Press it again. No, don't press it again. Oh my God. <laughs> I have to go back to the slideshow window because it won't let me. You're, you are back in the slideshow window. Okay, press escape. Yeah, press escape. Control alt delete. Press escape. Control C. Press there. <laughs> click, click, on, click on your name. And your password. All right. Yay. This is the application we want running. Oh, oh no. Why did my mustache fall off? You know, I know one way to shorten my show. <laughs> Whoa. Yay. What? <laughs> Tell us. Tell us. Is that the show? Ow. It's a big secret. Oh yeah, let's, let's just shoot this again. I'll talk about something else while we're doing this. Yay! 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 Fantastic. How much space is there, Pete? Uh, there's uh, several more pages. It's really good space. Man, they're important. They're all that stuff. Now get rid of this. You kill this application. Yes. Yeah. You know what Chris is good uh, for, right? There we go. Lady uh, Tile! Uh, any escape? Any Your luck with escape? Off. Excellent! Everything's going great! Here's what I want you to do. I don't, how do you get that up? Here, Yay. click on that. Click on his porn. No. Yay! <laughs> I can't hear that you. is the porn. What is it? Not my, not my gay German wait, wait, wait. porn. There's a triple X one down the that bottom. That one right there. Yeah. Now you can't see it. Oh, oh, wow. You promised you wouldn't drag this out. Yeah. Bring it good, Laura. Year, Mars is going to be bigger than the moon. So a friend of mine in JPL said, got tired of all these emails from Burning Man people and said, you know what? This is Mars at the biggest. This is Mars at the littlest. This is the moon. <laughs> just wanted to point what that out. that prove? Awesome. I'm not making fun of Burning Man. I'm just sitting here with my mister hitting me to get rid of all that terrible heat from the desert. Go ahead. There's no one in this room that's going to, oh, really? to the Burning Man. I don't think. The Burning Man. Is going to the Burning Man? Pat yourselves all in the back. You've all graduated. Well yes. done. Uh, this is the new Whoa. yearly film on the surface of Mars. Next image, please. This is Whoa. a magnified image of it. I it's an iron nickel meteorite. It weighs uh, about 200-some pounds. They think it landed on the surface of Mars 
two or more billion years ago. 32 miles northeast off the coast of Mendocino, they have discovered a small little canyon. You can have ice, looks like ice, it literally will burn. You can light it up just like you see here. Ice burning Whoa. here. Not going to be an explosion in the Arctic anytime soon yet. But eventually it will as it warms up. And, uh, oh, by the way, methane, it's releasing um, like 200 million tons of methane a year. It is the most potent greenhouse gas there is at the end of the world. Oh. Bye. Yay! Thank you, people, for coming. I'm going to see the Thanks for being here. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for being here, Keith. <laughs>